farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. It's Alex Jones, the extremist who wants freedom. But you know what Jay Carney said? White House Press Secretary Carney calls freedom a buzzword. This is uh, out of the Examiner. Reacting to reports, it says Obamacare will lower work hours because it lowers the hourly threshold and Americans must work harder to obtain health care. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney called freedom a buzzword. Freedom's just another buzzword for nothing left to lose. And you ain't got nothing if you ain't got buzzwords. Isn't that how the song went? It's not anything but an added choice that they have that allows them more freedom to use a certain buzzword. More choice, he said. Talk about double speak. By the way, you brought that in yesterday and I meant to show it, Chris Jordan. They have new 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 Obama ads for the Affordable Care Act. Notice how it is the opposite of affordable. The Patriot Act's the opposite of patriotic. It's all a sick joke, folks. And it's like Ads about, yeah, helps you get more. Talking about sex. And then there's another one like, mama loves her jeans and she loves her Obamacare. And then I went to the website and they're really putting out this cheesy, weird, trendy stuff. Like, hey, we like handlebar mustaches too and socks that don't match. You know, that's the ultra trendy thing right now, of course. Everybody's got big beards too. I'm not against facial hair, folks. I just don't get all these guys that have beards. I guess the movie 300 made it popular. And they always bug their eyes out at you like their beard's going to kick your butt or something. I could grow one hell of a beard, look like Gandalf if I wanted to, but I, I just itches and stuff. 
Yeah, yeah there it is. That's from healthcare.gov. Mom loves her comfy jeans. She also loves it when you have health insurance. And, and that was like that ad they produced where the parents want to talk to their kid and they call her over. They go, you really need to do this. And then she's like, oh, I agree. And they're like, oh, my gosh. That was, it's like so cheesy and so opportunistic and so fraudulent. I mean, look at how horrible Obamacare has been. Do you see Boehner trying to repeal it? No. You've got the Republican leadership trying to suppress the Libertarian Tea Party on immigration, on Obamacare, on everything. On, on the power grab by the executive, I dread if they get a Chris Christie in or a Rubio and they are just going to run over us with police state. And suddenly all the conservatives who hate Democrats so much, they'll go, well, that's all right if Rubio wants my guns because he leased it in Hillary Clinton, Alex. Get with the program, man. <sighs> so stinking frustrating. Now, the one on screen now is a uh, parody, Obamacare, the empire knows best. <laughs> and it's got the Obama rising sun symbol of uh, Tulsa Doom. Maybe Obama really is Tulsa Doom and David Ike's right and he turns into a snake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tulsa Doom on his mountain of power. She have a dagger from my heart. Max von Sydow, start quoting Max von Sydow. We ought to play the intro from Conan the Barbarian. After the sea swallowed Atlantis and before the rise of the sons of Arius, there was a time of great adventure. Well, let me tell you something, folks. You are living in a time of great adventure. Let's go ahead and take your phone calls. Peter, in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, how you doing? Pretty good, brother. Man, uh, I'll tell you what, you weren't joking about 6th Street down there. I was just down in uh, uh, your part uh, about a week and a half ago. actually met up uh, with uh, Leanne McAdoo and uh, John Bowne at the uh, prote protest there at City Hall um, against the fluoride. Did you guys ever find out what happened with that, by the way? We are fighting to try to get it out. There's lawsuits being filed a lot more. It's just an ongoing process, but fluoride's getting pulled out in major cities from Canada to Europe to the United States, so we're on the march uh, overall. But, uh, yeah, I would advise everyone, like, to have a travel advisory, finally, to not go to Mexico, anywhere it's so dangerous. Uh, I would say anywhere on 8th, 7th, and 6th Street, where it meets 35, if you're looking to be mobbed, stabbed, rolled, in the old days, people would go roll gays because I guess they thought it was acceptable they weren't human to beat them up and rob them. <clears throat> and, and people did something about it, and they should. Now they roll uh, white people. Um, and I mean, I'm just going to tell you, uh, black folks, because I know work people that live down there, work down there, it goes on almost every night, roll whites. And, and, and I don't blame them because if you see a trendy, long-haired liberal... They walk over and test them and call them names, and then they beg and go, come on, bro, I'm down, I hate white people too. Then they know they're defenseless and they attack. I mean, it would basically be like uh, lions would go after gazelles with no legs or horns. You know, kind of like a cheeseburger out the window. And then they beat them up on the ground. They beg and roll around while they kick them. They don't even fight back. It is the most pathetic display ever. And, and they've got news reports. This is happening a lot. So if you want to get stabbed or you want to get mugged, go down by the police station. Because the cops are all in there... Uh, you know, doing whatever they do, and, and just right in front of the police station, if you want to be attacked. See, they can't see it, though, because blacks cannot do anything bad to whites. Racism's only from white people. It's kind of like the black folks drug a white guy to death till his head came off as well on the same stretch of road a year after uh, the, the uh, white guys drugged the black guy to death. And the white guys all got uh, the death penalty. Uh, but but the issue is no one ever knew. There was one article in the local paper, that was it. And I agree. Dragging a white person to death is not a big deal. And, you know, if you don't go out there and help tie them up to the vehicle, then you're racist. So I think all white people should be drugged behind vehicles till they're dead. And so, again, I, I want to advise everyone, if you want to go down and be racially attacked and prove that you're sad that you're white, go down to where 6th, 7th, 8th, 
and 5th, right there, go down there at about midnight, right where it meets I-35, and just go stand under a streetlight, and you will be stabbed, beaten, and, 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 and robbed. And um, I think it's wonderful. So uh, go on down there. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Peter, you said, uh, what did you see on 6th Street? Was it was a lot of fun? I mean, it was just, it was mayhem. I mean, it was, uh, it was Bourbon Street meets, uh, uh, you know, Carnival or something down in Brazil. It, it was just, every other night, I was there for about a week and a half, and like you said, I mean, every other night, there was just huge fights. Um, <laughs> I mean, thankfully, I was on my survival shield, so uh, <laughs> I think the... Uh, I think the people were just parting, parting like the Red Sea when I was walking down. I was just feeling so on fire. But Well, uh, you know, also, I, I don't think you, you, you didn't need any super male vitality. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I have is the survival shield right now. and that, I mean, I'd love to do the, uh, the super male vitality, but I'm, I'm not sure I would uh, I'd stay on the ground if I had that stuff in me. Well, thank you for coming down and joining Leanne and the crew down there to, to protest the fluoride. God bless you, brother. Ed in Canada, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how you doing? I'm doing all right, brother. Excellent. Um, been a long-time uh, fan ever since the days I've seen you on Waking Life, and I've uh, been following you ever since. And I just I really love how you provide relevant news in a historical context. Well, God bless you, brother. What is on your mind today? Do you think freedom's a buzzword? Uh, I do. The police state is on my mind. Um, I... I, I you know, I'm concerned about it like everyone else. I've had run-ins like many people, and once you do and once your rights are violated, your eyes are really open to how frequent and easy it can occur. Well, that's and right, like and they're violating the Fourth Amendment, Fifth, Tenth. A lot of police departments don't, but a lot do. And the point is the system wants them to be like that. It's a trend. It's getting worse. And why do we have a Bill of Rights then if you guys think it can be trampled on? Go ahead. Exactly. Well, I, you know, I, I like to think on things and uh, come up with any solutions I can, and I'd, I'd like to propose what could be a potential solution. All right, brother, tell um, me. Cool. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a web, a web developer, but it would basically be uh, a website that would basically be, uh, the premise would be almost like baseball cards of vi um, violating police officers that just give down their stats, give their names, and then incorporate some type of form where people could petition or people of that town could get awareness and then and then potentially bring that officer to charges or at least removed from duty. No, no, I get it. We can make like a digital baseball card and throw the stats up there. And that's the kind of thing that would catch on with the public to try to, but I mean, it's so arrogant now, like out, out where they killed that, you know, homeless guy, the son of the cop. Uh, after they were found not guilty, the police basically celebrated it and arrested people protesting peacefully. So... I don't know. I mean, the cops would probably try to do worse things, some of them, to get more baseball stats. I mean, have you ever thought about that? Sadly, yeah. But I think the, I think the real benefit would come in. And, like, it is disgusting that anyone can be murdered or violated by a police officer without recourse to the, to the criminal officer. But I, I think the real benefit would come in as, as creating a record of all the incidences that usually just get lost in the, in the you know, so much news nowadays. And then... People could, on their free will, stumble across these things or, or just check it out. And, uh, and sir, you just said a unauthorized FCC banned word. You just said, get ready to delay, get ready to delay. I'm going to say it, though, for the Internet streams. Free will. <laughs> Damn, right. that is dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah. It's almost as dirty as saying John Boehner. <laughs> you know, if you ever, do you know now, like, if you find rotten mayonnaise in the back of your refrigerator, it's now called John Boehner. I don't know why, it's just something gross. And Obama, what should we call Obama? Obama we should give him some disgusting nickname. Because it, it's good to denigrate and, and desecrate these idols of the state. What do we want to call? Uh, let's, let's call Obama, henceforth, dog vomit. How's that sound? Yeah. <laughs> President dog vomit. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. It's important to defile the enemy. What should we call him? The... The, the lying serpent, the uh, the snake king? What should we call it? I don't know. Some, something to do with a puppet or Pinocchio or who knows. I guess Pinocchio is a good name for him. I appreciate your call. Very interesting, Ed. Uh, Richard in Canada, you're on the air worldwide, sir. How may I serve you? How are you doing, Alex? 
I'm an extremist. Uh, I admit it. Well, you know, you're very entertaining, and sometimes when you get on a roll, uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. But uh, well.